Hello, today I'm here with a new video and uh, I am here with a new first impression and oh my, I don't know about like the lighting um, I'm trying to figure out a better like filming spot this year I don't know how it's going. I have a mirror, but it's like there and I don't know if it is annoying if I look like this I don't know But yeah, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with first impression And I'm going to do a first impression with the At Forest site, the collab between Raw Beauty, Christie and Colourpop and if you didn't know and this palette looks like this so i what i really really like about this it's a really dark palette and that's often something i miss and the cats are here and they are crazy but ines is chewing on the studio light astrid is chewing on the tripod and everything is just chaotic as it usually is in this home. So I am going to do a first impression of this. So I'm just going to prime my eyes and then we'll get started. So it feels like the lighting is a little bit off as well. I I just have to go with it. <laughs> you just have to go with it. And I hope it is okay if I look over there. We will see. This is the first video I am filming with this little setup. If it looks shit, I won't change it. So, okay, the Raw Beauty Christie palette at Forest Sight. I think I want to use these two. <laughs> Maybe I should stop using green and gold. Um, but I also think I want to use like these. So I will start with this old growth in my crease and we'll see how this looks. And this palette, I bought it on launch day. I was like on Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay, on Colourpop the time it's launched and it took over a month for the package to arrive and usually it doesn't take that long with Colourpop. Um, it was a little... I'm back. Oh, um... It usually doesn't take that long with Colourpop. It did take longer when Corona was at its worst, but yeah, this looks good. I like this color. Okay, and I think I actually want to go in with Rainer, this one, and deepen down my crease and and okay, Ines is hunting shadows on the wall. Um, I want to deepen down my crease. Right now, I have no idea what I want to do. I'm going to be honest. I had kind of like an idea. But now I don't know if I want to do it anymore. And I'm so sorry for all the cat sounds, but... To defend myself, I work full time and uh, I need to film like, or I want to film as soon as I get home, but my boyfriend isn't home, so the cats are a little bit wild. And that's just how it is. You try to combine YouTube and a full time work. So far, so good. Okay, so I will go in with Homegrown. I don't think this is like just a normal brown. But I will try it and take it out here. And okay, what is this for kind of look? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I don't think this is like even fucking possible. Okay, I'm sorry about that. 
I'm sorry about this video. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But this is like my life now. My cat life. Maybe I should just wait for my boyfriend to get home. Oh, Jesus. But I really like this and I always feel it's so strange for me to like say I like a brown shade but I actually do. So I, I like this brown as well. It always feels so strange to say that I like a brown shade but I do. And I actually think that I will go in with these two. So I will take this West Coast on my lid and then I will take this Evergreen like over the gold and the brown and hope that it will work. But I will start with this West Coast. I hope this is not like a topper. It is a little bit, maybe not strange, but a little bit unusual for a Colourpop palette. It's only like three shimmers. So it's these two and this dark one has a little bit of shimmer to it. Maybe it blends away if you blend it on your eye, but it feels that Colourpop usually have more shimmers in their palette, and I know this is a collab palette, but I don't know. I don't know how it is to do like a collab with Colourpop. Okay, this one I really liked. I don't know if it is like that goldy. Or if it's just more of a yellow shimmer and now Astrid is going mayhem. Okay, I really really like this. West Coast. I'm just going in with homegrown a little bit here, even though I'm going to take evergreen to blend them together. The only thing I can feel with this, it's one of Colourpop's palettes that has kind of much of a kick up, but I usually don't care. Okay, so I'm going to take this evergreen just to put it where they meet <laughs> and it feels like I'm maybe sitting a little bit too far from the camera but for this video you just have to bear with me okay now we'll see maybe this will fuck it up or maybe it will not show it makes a little bit of a difference And the little it does, I think I really do like it. Okay, I think it toned it down like it's not. And I am really happy about it. So I'm going to wait to, wait, to take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back and we do the under eyes and then choose a lippy. I actually have two new lippies from Colourpop. Uh, I bought it the same time as I bought the palette. I bought one of the Lux Velvet in Take a Bow. Tried it, didn't like it, but maybe I should try it again. And then I bought a lippy stick in Prayer Home. Oh, don't know how that is pronounced. So I will fix my base and then I come back. Base is on and now it's time for my under eyes. And I think I will go in with... old growth and maybe homegrown or rainer and then west coast like in here so we'll start with old growth and just take it under here so and then i'm going in with i think i actually will take or i take Rainer? Is it the right pronunciation? I don't know. And I'm just going to take that a little bit out here. 
Okay, maybe I need to, I take homegrown. The dark brown I had out here. Out here. still like that and then i think i will take the gold shade are you a little bit is it a little bit dark maybe it is just bear with me i'm going to figure this out someday so i'm going just to take the west coast on my pinky and put it a little bit in my inner corner maybe this is a little bit too dark for my inner corner But you know what? What's done is done. So I'm going to put something in my wash line, put on mascara and lipstick, and then I come back with my finished first look with the at forest aside. So this is the finished look for my wash line. I used punch from ColourPop, and on my lips I used this pra prairie. Why can't I pronounce it? Pronounce it. And yeah, this is how I look. And I used one, two, three, four, five colors. So um, I like the colors I used. I used these two, this one, and these two. And the one thing I really like about this, I know it is a collab, so I guess Rob Beauty Christie decided all the colors. But I'm so happy that there is some darker colors. I wished maybe it would be one more shimmer. Um, but I really like this palette. I think the colors are really good. The colors work really good. This one, so so good. And this one looks really good on top of this one. And I like with this one, it isn't like gold. It's more like... Okay, it's a little bit gold, but it's at the same time, it's more like a shimmery yellow. And that is something that I don't have. And the colors blend good. And it feels like this is like the good color pop. Sometimes they do palettes that... I don't know what they're doing. But this one I like. So this is my first impression with the At Forest Sight Raw Beauty Christie and Colourpop collab. Really like this palette. I don't think this is in stock anymore. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to do more things with this because this year I am trying to use more of my collection. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!